Hello and happy Easter. Today we're going to be making our own Easter chick and Easter nest. Before we get stuck in, I just want to show you what's actually in our kits. What's in our kit is some clay. There's a big piece for the nest and a small piece for the chick. Some feathers, some Google eyes for the chick, some tools, a little paintbrush and some paints. And then of course we have the little chick profile. And in the chick profile we need you to think of a name, get the family involved, uh, whoever's about, and the nest address, hobbies, favourite colour, anything at all that you want to write, even write on the back. The more information the better in this is ideal. And before I start, I just want to say I've just got a piece of wood here. Um, now the reason for that is the clay is full of water and it would stick otherwise to the plastic. What I'm going to do first is mould a little nest and how I do that I'm going to put my thumb right into the middle and start to squeeze the sides. I just I squeeze my fingers like this against the clay and I turn it at the same time. Now you don't want it too wide either you want it to make it kind of a wee bit like a nest that would you'd see sitting up in a tree somewhere with the little eggs in it. Now see here you can always give it a wee bash there to make it a bit wider. So that's the kind of thing we're after. And the next thing we're going to do is use some texture. And how you make texture on your nest to show all the different detail, you're going to use your fork, a little tool like that, or if you have a lollipop stick, it'll do the same job. We will be making like lines. We can make dots with the fork. Um, if you think, if you've seen a nest up close, it wouldn't be smooth like that. It would have some sticks sticking out of it. This takes a little bit of time. Get creative with it and make it look like your chick's nest. So take your time with it. I don't want anyone rushing this. I think just take your time, make it your own and have fun. Have fun. And every nest is different. And don't worry if bits are coming off. That's kind of part of it. Once you're happy with that, um, it'll start to dry right away, but it does take about four to five days before it's totally dry, before you start to paint. What we're going to do now is we're going to get the straw out of the box. Now, your kit came with some straw in the box, and that is especially for the inside of the nest. So if you want to just make it into a kind of a ball and just place it inside the nest. The reason for this, it, it looks good in the nest, but as well as that, it's keeping the shape of the nest. So the nest doesn't go, you know, all over the place. And you want it to keep the shape. Before we're going to go making our Easter chick, um, I'm going to just show you how to make some uh, clay slip. Okay. So what I'm going to do is get a little container with a small drop of water in it. And we're just going to break the bits of clay, tiny bits of clay into the water. Then we're going to get our fork and mash it all up. The idea is that this is going to be our glue. You can also put your fingers in there if you feel like it and just mash it up. Now we have our slip all made and um, we're going to go on to our Easter chick. There's a small piece of clay there. What we're going to do is we're going to divide this. So one is the body and one is the head. The body is going to be obviously bigger and we're just going to make it into a ball. You can roll it round on the wood or if you want, you can put it in your hand. So with my fingers, I'm actually going to pinch the back into a little point and then you're going to smooth it very much with your fingers. So you don't need water or anything for this. Take your time with this bit because you want it to be nice and smooth. Okay, so when you're happy enough that you have it smoothed all off, and what I would do is just set it on the board or the cardboard and just give it a wee tap that is going to sit for you. I'm just going to get the other wee bit. That was the head. I'm looking at it, it's a bit big, so I'm going to just take a little bit of that off. I'm going to start rolling this into a ball. So now I have the little chick head the body. I'm just going to tap on one side. This is where it's going to join onto the body. How I join those two things is I'm going to use my fork and I'm going to use my slip. All I do is make a few X's with my fork. Okay, so we're going to cross hatch on the body and then we're going to get some of that sticky slip. 
inside of the container and put it on the body and join on the wee head. Okay. Just to make sure your chick head is positioned okay and it's stuck well down, I just use a little tool just to mold it into the body. You can see I'm just melding the, the head bit down onto the body. And just make sure that's stuck down. And just with your finger, you can even just smooth that off so you don't see the join. So now we're going to do our beak. I kept a little bit of clay for the beak. Um, the beak does not have to be very big. Again, you're going to make it into a ball. And then on one side, you're going to point it. Now, how we stick this, um, we're going to cross hatch a little beak. And cross hatch here. Where it's going to go. Just a little tiny bit on the end of the beak. Doesn't take much. Good on. Now, this is where the character comes in of the little chick. You could use a little tool just to make sure that's well stuck on and it's not going to come off. Okay, there's her beak on. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is put on the little googly eyes. There should be two wee eyes in there. Now you make sure your hands are very clean. All I do is just go a little bit above the beak and with your finger you're going to squish it right into the clay. I'm just pushing it in so it's not going to fall out and then I'm going to put in the other little one just by <laughs> pushing it in. And this is where your creativity is very important here because his little personality is all down to you. The next bit I'm going to do with the chick is perhaps add some feathers. But all I need is two. And I think what I'll do is... And now here's where I'm going to have fun. I'm just going to stick one of these wee feathers in. And I'm going to stick the other wee feather in the other side. There he is. Now, if you like, you could even stick a little feather in the back. And voila. There's our little chick. If you have any clay left over, you can always make it into a little egg. And I would like you to get as creative as you can with the little chick. And his little personality is there. And then, of course, you're going to be writing out all about him. The name, the address, his hobbies, his friends, anything you can about him. Just to make him more personable. And we're just going to sit him up there onto our little nest. Okay, so this is our nearly finished chick and nest. So it has to go and dry for about three to four days. Put it into the hot press somewhere warm that it can dry out. And when it dries out, you're going to find that it's going to be a little bit more robust. And you can see the different color where the water left um, the clay. For painting, you need some water, obviously, to wash your brush and a little bit of kitchen roll. Now, I want to make my... Easter chick and nest look really bright because around this time of year it's lovely to see the lovely colours of the flowers and the Easter eggs and everything. We're going to start painting it right away and I'm going to go for a lovely blue on my nest. I might do some crazy colours so I want to change my colour now so I'm just going to wash my brush and dry it. Now, it really doesn't matter what colours you choose, but just remember, it's your chicken nest. So you want to make it as nice as you can for yourself. Try not to mix the colours of the paints if you can. Just wash your brush every time you change colour. Now, while you're painting, you can be thinking of the name of the chick, the hobbies of the chick, all the different things. So you have all that information to put down in your your notes. Okay, so as I was painting my nest, I was thinking of a little name for my little chick here. And I came up with the name Shaquille. Um, so I'm gonna paint him next. So I think I'm gonna go for a lovely bright blue. And just take your time with this bit. You can see, going around the eyes, takes a bit of concentration. And I think I'll make the beak a different color. Now, if you make a mistake at all, just get a bit of kitchen roll. And just clean, clean it off. It should be fine. And the back of his head. Now I want my little chick to be 
standing out and be nice and bright and cheerful. But I do want to do his little um, beak, maybe orange. So Shaquin is looking really nice and colourful. So I'm going to put the straw back into his little nest and I'm going to paint this little egg. Do one colour and then let it dry and maybe do some dots on it. Just like a little Easter egg. Okay, so have fun, get creative as you want. And here we're gonna show you some examples of what we did earlier. 